country is screaming out for change, so perhaps the seeds of that change are being sown here. It shocked me that we exist in a, in a, a heritage of people who were extraordinarily brave and fought for the rights of people beyond themselves. And now we have a couple of generations of indoctrinated cowards who dress their cowardice up as activism, but an activism designed to destroy rather than to create. We are pro-life uh, for, from uh, conception to, to natural, natural death, and we won't apologize for that. But we, we're looking at the housing crisis, we're looking at the hospital crisis, we're looking at the employment, uh, we're looking at the training, we're looking at the youth services that, that provide it, we're looking at the, ways, the amount of pubs and public houses that are closing down right across the country. I mean, you see the cross-section of people here today, young children, families, all age groups. They're really hungry for somebody that will... Um, and you just hear the, the rapturous applause there. It's fantastic. I'm sure you've been at launches of other parties in the past. This is something different. This is history in the making here. Pater to Bean, I have never seen a man with so much passion and so much drive and been able to inspire so many people. When we sat up in that room today, all the candidates, there was almost 60 candidates, I was, to I was totally gobsmacked. We have planted the seed. The seed will grow. And like the tree of liberty and the tree of life that we use as our symbols, the roots will go very deep into the ground and we will grow. I'm convinced of it because I do believe in the innate goodness of the Irish people. I think it's a lot more positive. A lot of people that I've spoken to on the phone, I just met outside the schools and on the streets and I've said they will now vote for Father because he's not Sinn Féin. Because of Father is a man who said he was going to do something and he did it. You know, very rare in politics do you hear somebody say, I will do this, and then they do it, and they stand up, and he has to be admired for that. We want a party that we can trust, and I have good faith in, in Padre Topin. He, he, he's a person with great dignity, and um, I, I, I just think, like, you know, um, that's what's missing in, in Irish politics at the minute. Our grown-up children are living at home with them because uh, they can't afford the rents, and they can't afford to, 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 to buy a house. It's, it's, I could see the frustration in everyone's eyes, you know, and uh, it, how the country has been turned into a, a landlord's paradise. Standing in any party is tough. Be, putting yourself forward and putting yourself up for ridicule and for, for uh, assessment by other people is tough. And I commend anybody that stands to represent the people.